Hi, I'm David Sandeland, Robotics Product and Sales Manager at IGUS, and today I'm going to show you how to install cables in TRX. TRX is a new product from us. It's very similar to our TriFlex product with one distinct difference. It has a built-in retraction system. When you order TRX, it comes exactly as you see here. An assembled part with extra set of strain relief, an extra lock nut, and the hardware to attach it. To complete the job, you'll require a T20 screwdriver, a set of angle cutters, a pen or a Sharpie, and some tie wraps. As we look at TRX, you'll see that the lids are very similar to TriFlex, but you'll also notice that they are screwed in using the Torx screws. When you first get it, it has not been preloaded, so you can stretch the length of TriFlex apart to expose the lids open. This will make it much easier to install the cables. If you take a closer look at TRX, you'll notice that there is a center element and each side has an equal number of links, left and right. The center element is what we call the center drive element. It has a strain relief element in the center. And what this does is it helps the cables to take that rotational mo movement during the cycle. So the first step to installing a cable is you're going to remove the two lids on each side from the center element to expose the strain relief element. So as we look closer at the center drive element, you'll notice that there is a two-sided strain relief on each side. TRX, just like TriFlex, is a two-sided product, so you have two chambers, one on the top, one on the bottom. There is also a two-sided strain relief element that will be installed at each end. It's important that each cable and each hose gets a, a tie wrap at each side of the strain relief element in order to maintain the integrity of the security of the cables inside the TRX once the TRX is in, in motion. So we would recommend that you install cables on one side and hoses on the other. You never want to have jacket materials that are not the same to uh, interact inside the chamber. So I'm going to install these uh, cables inside one, on one side. So at this point, I'm going to install tie wraps in the center strain relief element only. So as I said, installing on both sides of the strain relief element. I'm going to cut away the extra tie wrap. Turn it over and do the same with the airlines. I recommend using small tie wraps. The larger the tie wraps, the less likely they're going to be to fit inside underneath the lids. So at this point, you're done with the center element and you can reinstall the lids. To reinstall the lids, you simply line this hole up with the male portion of the link and then just pop the lid out of the way on either side and it'll pop right in. I'm 
and go ahead and put those screws back in there, keep it in place. So now that that's done, we are all set to um, strain relief at either end. The first thing you have to do though, is mark where the cables would land um, at the center point of the strain relief element. And then we're going to compress the TRX back into place, attach the lock nut, and then add the strain relief. Just make a mark with a pen or a pencil at the center of the strain relief element. Okay. Same at the other end. Make sure those show up for me. Okay, do the same with the cables. So now you're ready to compress the Triflex, or the TRX, excuse me, into position. And to do that, you're gonna hold on to the uh, bungee on the non-nutted side and simply compress the TRX in place. At this point, you're going to install the lock nut that came in the bag using the same screws that you did with the lids. Now that the lock nut's been set in place, the tension for the TRX has been set. Then I'm gonna add the stream relief element on this end using the same screws. So now we're ready to strain relieve our cables and the final piece of that puzzle is to simply push them into the midway point as they were marked and then add your stream, add your tie wraps. Same with the airlines. And finally flip it around to the other end and do this side as well. So now we have the finished product here. You'll see that the strain relief is done in the center element in both places, as well as at each end in two places. This will secure the cables and hoses and make sure that they take the proper path while TRX is expanding and contracting, like so. For more information, check out the link to the TRX page in the description below. On the page, you will also find contact information. Feel free to reach out for further assistance.